Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with something new for me, a Scrapper's Topsy Turvy Mother's Day Hop. And this is something they do once a month and they pick a new topic. So this month is Mother's Day. And then the next thing that I'm also doing is Stash Dive Tuesday. And so I am pulling from my stash to create a layout. And this is probably one of the first videos that I've done in a little while, it seems, that I haven't had a sketch or a layout to scrap lift. So I'm really excited to just scrap on the fly like I like to do. Um, so I have this picture of my best friend and I, and one of the things, well, the only thing really, that for the Topsy Turvy Mother's Day was to scrapbook someone who is like a mother, but not your mom. And she has been a mother figure to both of my children, and in many times probably for myself. So because of Stash Dive Tuesday, I've got a plethora of things. So this paper here and this cut apart are from the black and white Park Lane paper pad. And then I have these two little scraps here that I've pulled out of my um, Jen Hadfield Chasing Adventures paper pad. And I open this up and show you the sticker sheet. I'm didn't think I'd use too much, if anything, on here, but just in case, I thought maybe I would pull something, and I think I do pull one thing off. And then I also have this um, teal paper with the golden f um, birds on there, and that comes from the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days, as well as this little tag. And the tag says, like, summer to something or other, travel. Summer to travel, that's right. And so then I have this Rocky Mountain Scrapbook Company paper, and I got this at Tuesday morning, so I have 25 sheets, and I've not used a single one, and my best friend's favorite color is that tealy aqua color, so I was really looking for different things I could use in that color scheme. And then this Addison sticker sheet by Bella Boulevard, um, it's the fundamentals, and I thought I would pull some things off here. I will not be pulling anything that is pink. Uh, my best friend does not like pink, and so I try very, very hard not to scrapbook anything pink. Um, so, I have all of these papers, all of these embellishments, different things. Um, no clue what I'm going to do. We're going to wing it. Um, I may pull some things out of this little bin that sits next to me. Who knows? Um, but I definitely am going to get this picture scrapped, and so let's see how this goes. So, the first thing I did was obviously try and debate what I'm doing, and then it's worth the finger tapping. And so, I decided I was going to use this paper from the black and white paper pad by Park Lane um, as my base page. And I also decided to get out my Tim Holtz Distress Crayons, and they are water-reactive pigments. And I got three sets of them from my husband for Christmas, and I really enjoy them. Um, you can kind of be a little willy-nilly and they're not necessarily, in my opinion, meant to be like um, super um, detail-oriented. Like, you know, they're wide-based at the top, so it's not like I'm coloring something very thin in that needs to be super accurate. Um, and I use a plethora of colors, uh, mostly like the teals and blues, and then I pull in some yellow in like a uh, tan shade, and I could give you the actual colors. Um, I guess I should have pulled those out and left them out so I could tell you. Um, but they are from a couple different sets that I have, and then I got my watercolor brush and just watercolored them. Um, so I used some iced spruce, and I also, look, I'm just now getting into all my colors, and I'm gonna tell you. I got some scattered straw, um, some weathered wood. I think I brought in a little shabby shutters. And then the only other color I think that I pulled in was old paper. And, oh, in the very end, I haven't colored it in yet, but there's a little leaf showing there. And I end up coloring that in, and that is colored in forest moss. Okay. So this piece of paper, I decided I'd cut it into a six by 12, but it came from a paper pad and it's got a perforation on it. And I didn't like that, especially since the way I have to have it, because the birds would be flying upside down if I don't, um, was going to be, um, 
at the very top and I just really didn't like that so I thought well I'm just gonna trim a little and see how obvious it is uh it was obvious so I went ahead and trimmed a little more and actually just left the border and I really love the way that it looks so I'm glad that that happened um and then I tack that down but only on the left side because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to tuck something or to do a little work on one of those things on uh, the florals I did leave that one flower um, product, I mean, pretty much completely undone. Um, I only colored in the middle. I did that on purpose. Um, I wanted it to be that, um, just the pop of that salt, just the black and white over there on the bottom right. Um, but I do not want anything sticking out right there, um, in the middle of the layout, right where the paper meets necessarily. So, um, I'm going to debate on where I want to put my picture and then color whichever one does not get covered up. So I map my picture in that really pretty Rocky Mountain scrapbook leaf paper. And then I be wanted to mat it again. So I mat it on this black and white striped paper that came from the Chasing Adventures by Jen Hadfield. And I fully matted both of them and left a bit of a fat border with that black and white stripe so it would stand out. But I also want to make sure that it um, has a little bit more color in there. So I use this other scrap and it's not gonna fully cover and I'm okay with that. I knew that I was not gonna be trimming this picture down. I think I trimmed maybe uh, not even a half an inch altogether off the picture because I didn't wanna cut anything out really. And because we're kind of at a diagonal, um, it would have cut you know, faces off or heads off and I'm not doing that. So I put that blue colored paper down and um, I just tack that back in the background. And so I'm trying to decide where I wanna put it. It's either gonna go up towards the top or down towards the bottom. And then I'm gonna color whatever is peeking out. So I really do prefer it towards the bottom. And so I get that um, forest moss and um, I think the first color I pulled out was the same color, like a tealy color, and I didn't want to do that because that's what color the paper is, plus that's the flower that's closest. So this is the forest moss from one of the pages, and I just keep only color what needs to be colored. I'm no point in wasting. So I just keep laying it down and making sure I've got it covered, and then I, I watercolored it with the paint brush, and then... I dab it with a paper towel so that it doesn't um, get too wet and soaked into the picture or that paper that I laid down on top of it. So now I'm trying to figure out where I want to place my card. And my intention is to cover some things up on this card. And that's why I'm trying to figure out how to use this um, cut apart from the black and white collection. And because it says summer to travel, I don't want that. It is not summer, um, it is actually December. <laughs> so um, I wanted more of a um, fall, um, winter color scheme. Uh, teal, like I said, is her favorite color as well as mine. And so I thought that I would go with these darker colors. And so I um, decided that I would bring that, um, and, you know, cover that up. I'd find a way to cover the where it says summer um, and travel because we didn't travel. Well, okay, we traveled to the Chinese restaurant down the street. So, you know, not a lot of traveling. So what I'm doing right now is I have this little cut apart and it says be bold. And I took the yellow um, paint or not paint, but distress crayon in the scattered straw. And I just inked or, or not inked I colored around the cut apart and then I took my watercolor paintbrush and just watercolored it a little and I love that it gives it a little edge and then I just tucked it in behind there and the reason I use this card is my best friend's name is Brie and a lot of people just call her B and so I thought that was fitting plus I love um you know saying be bold because we are pretty bold people <laughs> especially her. So I tuck this little tag in and I love the way it gets tucked in. There is gold in the, um, the birds are gold. And so that gold from the two is very fitting. And I am going to bring a third little point of gold in here in a minute. And so then I pull out this Addison Bella Boulevard fundamental sticker sheet. 
and I have two of them that came um, in this little pack I got for like a dollar and a half a Tuesday morning it's super awesome and like I said lots of pink on here but I am not pulling the pink I'm just sticking things on this piece of acetate uh, that I think I'm going to use and I know that the colors that I'm pulling are not necessarily the same shade um, as what I've got but I'm okay with that because it's just a bunch of different shades of tealy colored and like I said since that's our favorite color I felt like it was pretty fitting so I do pull this really bright orange and yellow little thing that says besties and I don't care that it is not anywhere on this layout that color is the only color and I think that it really draws your eye to that and I'm okay with that because um that the whole point of this layout is about me and my bestie so I put that to cover the word summer and then I have this little um, tag right here that's just like a little um, tab and I put it down at the bottom to cover the word travel and then I put the little yes circle sticker inside of it and so really it says besties to yes which kind of doesn't make any sense but whatever um, I don't really care. It really wasn't me making a title. The Be Bold is more the title. Um, so <laughs> it's all good. So then um, I got this arrow and it's yellow. So it brings the yellow in in a different place. And it's a different shade of yellow than what I've used. But I'm okay with that too. And then I have this little plus sign. And um, I what I should have done is put the plus sign down lower and it could have I could have made the title be bold and besties too but you know it's fine I think about these things later that's what happens when you scrap on the fly like I do um, when I don't have like a sketch or a layout to scrap lift I pretty much just kind of go rogue and do whatever so I also put that little um, tab up at the top that says totes and um, anything else no okay so then I pull out my enamel dots <laughs> see this is what happens when I have no guidance you all I <laughs> just go crazy um so I pull out these enamel dots and again these are a teal aqua color that are not the same as what I've already used but it is um a gorgeous color and I love them so I just put a couple of them on there and then I pull out some of my um, enamel dots from Paper Studio and I use the three shades of like tealy um, colors like a dark teal a light teal and then a bolder um, aqua teal and I just get those on there and I use one of them to cover the tag hole because I do not do naked tag holes and then I pulled out my Nouveau um, crystal drops and this one is in simply white so it'll dry white um, I do have a few other kinds that are white, but they dry like clear with the glitter. But I was looking for a little pop of white in a few different places. So I went ahead and added, I think, five different little triple dots um, in places. And then I got my pen out and where I wrote the date down before I put the picture on uh, the layout, I wrote down Golden China Buffet 12 19, 19 which was the date that we went and that is it so I'm going to show you some close-ups um, in the description box below hopefully I will have um, anybody that I know that is following or is hopping with the topsy-turvy um, hop and like I said they just wanted us to scrapbook a layout with somebody who is a mother figure in our life and she is definitely a mother figure to my kids and at times when I need it maybe even to me um, and then, like I said, stat, and that was a hop that was brought to us by Jennifer and Rebecca on the Scrappy Inspiration YouTube, um, and Instagram hops. And then Stash Dive Tuesday is every Tuesday, and there aren't any rules except they try only to use two items from each collection. So Rebecca from Rebecca Lockhart Scraps and Adam from Scrappy Adam started that. So I hope you all will come back soon, and happy scrapping!